and welcome along and welcome back to Hope Elleron. It's been a little while since we've been on this map, but today we are going to be doing a little bit of clearing up and picking up where we left off last time. We have got on the back of here our hoe because we've got a load of weeds in this field here. Uh, so we're going to clear those up to start with and, uh, and get those cleared out of the way. Then uh, we're going to be picking up basically with the rest of our stuff as well. We've, we've probably got some more bread to sell, I think. Uh, we've definitely got a couple of pallets of tomatoes to get delivered. And as things are getting a little bit busier on the farm going forward, uh, we want to keep the sales and things of those going. I want to be a little further over for this. Our sunflowers are still growing nicely, though, and uh, getting rid of these weeds in these fields are going to make a big difference. Let's turn this, or let's drop this down, because this doesn't need turning on. Uh, we are nearly on the right number of degrees, and we're going to use our GPS today to help speed this job up. So we'll turn that on. We'll set our first waypoint, and then we will set our second... There we go, whip, and away we go. And yeah, we've got a little bit of a weird bit at the side of this field. We'll get that cleared off in a minute. But all in all, this should go fairly smoothly and get done fairly quickly. Now, because we're using the hoe on here, it is getting rid of both the big weeds and the small ones. So if I just put that on to there for now and uh, we'll have a quick look out here. And yeah, you can see it's clearing up everything, both the large and small weeds, which was the trouble we had the last time. Clearing those out does mean that we should get a very nice boost to our yield on here. Uh, it does mean that we won't get quite such the boost to the environmental score. But considering the price of the sprayer to get said boost, uh, we can't really afford to do it. Something else I want to try today is on here, we do have the nitrogen detectors. And last time we tried to spread some fertilizer on here and see if that would help. Now, somebody said that I need to turn on the crop sensors in order to actually get it to work properly. And yeah, there we go. Sure enough, under the help menu is the crop sensor turn on command. Uh, Alt, uh, Alt and B in this case. So uh, we are going to have to give that a try today as well. If, we, if there is a little bit more nitrogen we can do to, to sort both these fields out, uh, then it is absolutely worth doing that to try and... Uh, and get the most out of here that we can. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to hook up to my solid fertilizer spreader, turn on those crop sensors, and see if we can improve things a little more. It may be that putting the solid fertilizer in when we seeded was enough, um, but I do want to make sure that we can get the most out of these fields, uh, if possible. Coming up to the end of the field... Just need to line myself up and get this last strip here. We need to go still up to the other end of the field and sort it out up there. Let's get this back into the field itself and stop pulling through the bushes. But I think that has got most of this field done. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've just got this odd strip down the far side. So let's lift things up and we'll travel along the road a little bit. Just so that we can get back in here. And then head up to this corner. So as I said, what we need to do next. Because uh, this really hasn't taken us very long at all. Is to go in and clear up the uh, the remaining uh, need for any of... Uh, any nitrogen uh, increase in the soil. Uh, and just have a look and see if there is any reason to uh, get a little bit more solid fertilizer on the ground. We will activate the sensors that we've got on the tractor and get that to do that. Are we completely clear of stuff in our windmill now? I think we might be. Let's have a look here. 
yes, so our windmill uh, does not have any incoming materials at all. Uh, it's got a little bit of flour, a little bit of sunflower oil, uh, but otherwise everything is out, else is out. Uh, we've got enough water in our greenhouse and bread. Uh, we are still producing stuff. Um, we are gonna. I think we are gonna try and get a dairy and some cows running on here. Uh, we can produce some milk and some butter, and then I think we'll have to buy sugar in. Sugar is gonna be way too difficult overall in order to get on here. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna try that now. Uh, I think we should get this picked up. Because if I remember correctly, this is a leased piece of equipment. So leased stuff, weeders. Yeah, it is just this. Uh, so we double check before we end that we have nowhere left really to get any weeds from. We've got a couple of small patches here and there. But otherwise, I'm happy. So this can go back. And, uh, and that was a plava. But we need to remember that we need the hoe next time to do this and not the weeder. So let's go into here and we'll get that returned. So return that. Yes. Okay. There we go. And then I want to hook up the solid fertilizer spreader to this. Uh, I think we have a fair amount of solid fertilizer still in here. There we go. Like that. Right. And then I want to turn on, uh, as I was saying, uh, Alt and B. We've got the crop sensor turned on now. So hopefully this will now cover everything for us. We will then set up the new width for this. So uh, new width and here. And now we can see how much we need to pull this in. Now, I'm actually going to get this to include the bit out the side of the field over there. I think that it's going to be quite a way over. We have to go for that. Right there. And then set ourselves up and see what our crop sensor says. Yeah, look at that. That is immediately increasing, or did immediately increase parts of this. And uh, we are going down very slowly. It is going to have an effect, this is, enough for us to get just a little bit more out of this. So, I'm going to just spin this round here, make sure that I get everything in this corner. And then we'll continue applying this to the rest of our field to make sure that we are at the optimum nitrogen for what we need to do. It is a really small adjustment all the way across this field. It's between 10 and... Well, no, 20 is the highest I've seen for us to add on this. So, uh, yeah, that is um, working very, very well to get our optimum uh, nitrogen levels on here and make sure that everything is as high as it should be. It's not using a huge amount of solid fertilizer to do this, which is absolutely brilliant. It's, uh, it's, it's making a difference, but at the same time is not costing us a lot to do it. I'll just turn that off there. And I think we're gonna free, yeah, we're, we're gonna free run this last bit just try and cover as much of the field as we need to. I think there's a very small patch down that bottom end that got missed there. And then there's a couple of small patches up here that will just cover on our way out of the field. Uh, like so. There we go. So that is our first field done and dusted. And all fully fertilized. I'm going to turn my lines off for the moment and we're going to head up to the top of this field here and uh, and get the same done with these sunflowers just really to to give us a good boost now before i get started on this field i do want to just pop into the crop and see exactly how much our yield is boosted so let's stop here jump out and just run into here so pH value is bad. We know that. We we kind of needed to sort that. 
Uh, but uh, I know yield bonus. How do, it doesn't actually. I thought it would give us. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Expected yield 116 uh, percent. Yield potential 125 percent in this part of the field. So we want to see if this doing this will boost this at all, and uh, and see what happens. So I'm going to bring the lines back. We will move them over. Uh, like so and see if we can't bring them yeah there we go which way are you gonna go no come on sometimes especially if you're uh, perpendicular to them it's quite difficult to get the lines in the right place but uh, there we go right get into that and uh, see if we can't increase the fertilizer application on here as well and yeah again it's only gonna be small increments we need to do four rows in and you can see the very slight increase on the map of of where it's adding stuff in i mean it's a, it's a tiny increase um but it is making a difference uh, and it is increasing things and as i said we're just gonna pull to the end of this row here i think so get that there and bring this round and having set myself up on the next row we were getting uh, about a hundred and sixteen hundred and seventeen percent increase last time wow this is not making any difference whatsoever nice and realistic to be able to put that little bit in but yeah that is not increasing our yield potential our expected yield on here at all um i think it would actually make a bigger difference to have got lime on here in the first place so uh yeah it's not making a massive difference but uh i think i'm still gonna go through this because as i said it's just that little bit more realistic it's also one of those things on here where i'm trying to ex test and work out exactly how everything in precision farming works and having it do this and have the crop sensors running on our tractor is really useful for that really helps me to kind of work things out for later on uh, so activating the sensors that are on the tractor and everything like that just just makes it really useful for us uh, especially then going on to other uh, game saves and other series uh, it can make quite a big difference maybe not making such a huge difference on here but certainly will make a big difference on uh, another series where I've, I've not necessarily done the fertilizing at the same time as I have done the seeding and and going from there we should be able to make sure that we maximize the use of not only our fertilizer but things like our fuel and our time as well something i do wonder as well is if we'd use these nitrogen sensors when we were seeding would that have also had this effect of also actually being much more accurate in the application of our uh of our nitrogen at that point of the the solid fertilizer at that point i would really i think that is something i will have to go and test at some point and see whether the this sensor works uh, at the same rate as the uh, sensors on or the same rate as if whether we turned it on seeding or not i can't remember whether i even looked to see if it was something i could turn on when I was seeding. I'll have to go back and have a uh, look at those videos. If you guys do know that, let, let us know in the comments. Um, here though, it's uh, it's been quite useful. We are we have this fertilizer to spare anyway, so I'm, I'm quite happy to be using it on here and testing this out. Uh, and uh, hopefully it's gonna make a big enough difference in order to actually uh, have some meaning in having it on here. Just the slightly wonky bit at the bottom of the field here to finish off. And yeah, we've used hardly any fertilizer topping this up at all. And uh, how far out are we going here? So yeah, we've got a little bit to do at the bottom end of the field. 
uh, we will freehand that because uh, there's no point in running the GPS halfway across the road. And it is just this little bit that we have in here. So bring that across there. And yeah, it looks like we've not got a lot of uh, area to actually cover with this. And there we go. I think, yeah, that should cover the whole field. From out through these bushes, and we've still got 21% left of our uh, nitrogen in here. So that's really, really good. Very happy with that. Let's back this up and get this into here. Ready for next time. Now, I want to see what's in the shop quickly. I don't think... We did have a brief look a minute ago, but I don't think there's much in there. It's always good to check the sales, though. So, no, there is a uh, mulcher. Uh, that mulcher is 8,000. That might be quite a good thing to have on the farm because I don't think we have a mulcher anywhere. So, yeah, I think we'll get that if we can. Just going to turn this tractor off. Uh, we do need to get some fuel, and we have no fuel transport on here at the moment. Uh, we also have no front loader on this either, and we need to go and uh, deliver some stuff. I think what we'll do is we will head down to the bakery and go and get the bread done first, and then we'll pop back up here and sort out the tomatoes uh, get those two things cleared off here and that will help sort us out uh, pretty quickly today i think and then down and into the bakery it's quite a sharp turnaround but then that's one of the nice reasons why we got the truck here and oh yeah we've got a fair amount of bread to sell today so we'll open this up and uh, as per usual get this loaded up so it gets repacked into boxes in the back. So, whoop. There we go. Close it up. And best place, I think we've got only one place for bread on here. Let's see. Uh, bread. Bread, bread, bread. There we go. Bread. Uh, that is going to Le Jardin de Fermier's farm shop. Uh, which is where it always goes. So uh, let's head up there and get this unloaded. And oh, if we're lucky, we've got 2,000 litres in here. This might be enough to buy that malt shirt, which I think, as I said, I think would just be a really good purchase to have. Long term, we need a malt on the farm. If one comes up like that, that's pretty good, pretty wide, and, uh, and will save us money later. Worth grabbing it. Right into the shop through the first sell point and over into the second round here is this going to be enough let's open it up and have a look so yeah unloading all the bread oh wow five thousand that's more than i expected was it two and a, it was two and a half thousand each so that actually is really really good uh we can head back to the farm now and I want to look at a couple of things. I think if we can sell the tomatoes today as well, that would be good. Uh, keep that ticking over. Um, but, uh, yeah, we have enough to go and grab that mulcher, which I think would be a really good plan. And back down to our farm. Let's bring it in here and in. And I want to park myself up just over here. Like so. And then we need to get our front loader back on to the Z tour. Uh, as I said though earlier, we well, we're not too bad on fuel on this, but we could do with putting in a fuel tank somewhere around here. Just to give us uh, that little bit of uh, placement for fuel, somewhere where we can put it and uh, and be in a position where we don't have to go absolutely miles to fill up every time. Or even getting a fuel tank or something on the back of our TLX would be good. Though I'm finding that there aren't many small fuel tanks about. Or, or I could... There's two birds. There's a two birds with one stone thing on the mod tub. We need about 26,000 to get it though. So uh, 
Yeah, I think there's there's a lot of stuff I would like to get that uh, that we need to probably do after this year's harvest. Uh, and we've got some uh, oil, some sunflower oil created. It's going to be a lot of sunflower oil we create this year, which is going to be great. Um, we've got a steady income from the bread at the moment. It looks like we're getting about uh, five, 6,000 every two days at the moment from the bread. Right, let's load up these tomatoes, though, and get them delivered as well. Come on. There we go. Into there and back it out. Those will get reboxed then. And then we'll do the same here. My rule with stuff that goes into here is if I'm unloading it at the other side and expect to be unloading in pallets, i.e. I'm bringing stuff up here for seeds and things like that, or seeds or solid fertilizer or anything like that, uh, that does not go in the back of this uh, truck. Anything that I am loading up to sell, that can be reboxed for the other end. And uh, I think that's a fairly good way to go, to be honest. It, it works out quite well with uh, how we're playing on here. So there we are, like that. And then we can close this up like so. Yep, tomatoes aren't accepted there because that's where we just picked them up from. Let's take these. Uh, well, I think we're going to go to the same place with these as we went with our last load. Uh, tomatoes, there we go. Uh, Le Jardin is the only place to sell. So, uh, yeah, let's head back over there and get these sold as well and see how much we end up with. Okay, so how much are we going to make from our 1,000 tomatoes? I don't... Th oh, 1,000 litres of tomatoes. I don't think it's going to be that much. Not anything like we made with the bread, I don't think. I'll probably unload before I get round here. Yeah, 915 plus 54 environmental score uh yeah i think it's time to head back to our farm and uh, and look at what our options are because that might open some more doors so i'm going to just come in here and i think we'll drop the box it off the back uh, in a position to easily load stuff up so here should be fairly good yep uh, i want to open it up because we want to uh be putting stuff into it and then I can put the back back on this. There we are. Because I don't like having the uh, the box on there all the time. We do need to also get a uh, pressure washer, I think. Looking at the state of some of our equipment. I'll just back onto this. There we go. Not bad. Locked on. And then we can park this up. And we're nicely out the way and done right so uh what is our current situation uh we've got a we have enough money by a good distance to get uh the the Kinoch speed max 560 that's available there um but i actually also want to have a look at construction and animals uh cows the cheapest is seventy five thousand. so i think what we'll do at the moment is we're going to leave that uh i want to put these then we want to put this with a dairy up the top we don't need a huge number of cows yeah we could very easily put uh, a, a, a simple cow field up here with a dairy up the top and uh and and make quite a bit of money but uh i'm going to take this um, how much fuel is in this? We've got plenty of fuel in that. Where is our nearest fuel station on here? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, there's fuel down at there. So, yeah, I think we're going to drop the front loader off again. Don't like continually. Actually, no, I'm not going to drop the front loader off. We'll just drop the forks off. And then we're going to head down to the shop. We're going to go and grab ourselves that mulcher ready for later in the year. And uh, then we are also going to fill this up with fuel. Uh, it's fine for DEF for now. So, uh, yeah, we'll fill this up with fuel. And then we will uh, get all of that back to our farm. Here we come down to the shop. 
see if we can't get this refueled. Uh, but first, yeah, so there's our fueling station. Or the, the actually the, the actual fuel uh, garage. The, the petrol station is the word I'm looking for. And then in here, is it still available? Yes, it is. Uh, nothing, or there is something new available, but it's of no use to us. So, ah, I press the right button. There we go. And then we can buy this. 8,184 should fit us perfectly for what we want. And it's actually the other way around, I think. Yeah, it does go on the back, which is good. And uh, it's nicely color-coded with this tractor as well. I'll bring this round and get this hooked up to the back here like so and yeah there's a fair amount of width on this as well which is good what is the power requirement of this i realize i bought this and not checked that but 130 horsepower we are well within it and it's got a nice big width to it as well right bring this over here refuel our tractor there we go and actually while i have the money and while I am here, our tractor is fairly well re pre repaired. You know what? I'm quite happy with the repair levels of all of those. So that should be fine. Uh, let's get this back down to our farm. All in all, that's been uh, pretty successful, I think. We are looking very nice with our new mulcher. Although I don't really have anywhere to put it at the moment. So uh, I suppose I could put it next to our uh, Bowser over there. I need to go and check on the chickens. See if that works. So put that down. And drop that off. We'll turn that off for now. We might need it in a moment to pick up the chicken uh, feed. How's this? Uh, food. 18 litres. So yes. We need to go and grab the bag and uh, give some more feeds to our chickens. Where is our bag hook? It's there. Okay. Glad I left the uh, front loader on this now. Otherwise, that would have been taking it off and, and putting it on again. Uh, let's turn off. Yeah, let's turn off the crop sensor. Forgot to turn that off earlier. As we don't need that running at the moment. And then bring this in here nice and carefully hook up our bag lifter and yes as i said uh, a couple of times before um so people have commented oh you, if you leave the bags there it doesn't feed the chickens uh yes it doesn't feed the chickens that's why we need to come in here and grab this bag lift it up just enough into the food area because that isn't even where you need to put it to uh, feed the chickens uh, that is this end here and I think this will probably use up both these bags. What I'd really like to do this year, hopefully, is get a couple of uh, contracts that allow us to, to get feed for our chickens as well uh, at the end. So that would be good too. Because these bags, these chicken feed bags, are expensive. So how does that leave our chickens? Hundred of, uh, sorry, 515 litres. That is... Fairly good for them, so that's good. We should get some eggs, or we should continue to get eggs produced, which is great. And, uh, yeah, those are going to continue to go down to our bakery um, because we're going to need those eggs in order to actually make some cake eventually. For now, though, uh, I think that's pretty good. It is only three in the afternoon, but there's not much left to do. I am going to have a quick look at the contracts, see what we have kicking around here. A couple of bailing contracts. Uh, I think those are going to become more important when we come to doing cows uh, a little later on. Uh, there's a weeding contract with an interesting setup. Um, but otherwise, I think we're pretty good. So uh, let's head over here because this is a great place for us to end. So all that remains 
is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.